Can I hear you? Y lo vuelvo a poner.
Ya, yeah, Choncho, ven, ven. Aquí, se, ahí, aquí se.
Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Hello. Hey, uh, I'm just introducing the schedule and syllabus. Syllabus for. Alan, can you get me a pillow? And then me a pillow. I will go over wow. the how to access the course. And uh, let me some of you are not mute, so mute yourself. And when you need to talk, talk. Okay. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna go over two things today. I will describe the syllabus and the schedule, and then I will go over how to access the course. And I have already posted the uh, some assignment and one of the recorded lecture PowerPoint uh, and the uh, study guide for the first midterm. So before I start, do you guys have a problem with anything? Can you guys see the content in your canvas as I described? Yes. Okay. So let me go over the syllabus first. Okay. So here is the uh, syllabus and the schedule. I'm going to go over first the description. So as you know, this is the Human Anatomy Bio Four uh, Fall Course, and the course title is Human Anatomy. So title, same thing. And then we have two section for Fall 2020. One is uh, online. The both are there, uh, fully online. That is D9164 and D9763. So some of you are uh, 9164. Some of you are 9763. Anybody is here from 9763? Any of you are from the section 9763? How would we know if we're from that section? When you enroll, you have that uh, section. Oh, OK. Can you check that? Because I am uh, broadcasting from 9164 and then I have invited 9763. So I want to make sure that everybody has access. If not, then I have to go separate Zoom and invite everybody separately. I will wait, some of you check please. How many of you know that you are 9164? Me. Okay. That's good. Me as well. Okay. Anybody from 9763? Let me go over. My email, my inbox. I'm from 9763. So you are from nine, good, that's good. Then everybody has access. Now I can continue. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the two course uh, and we both of them have 30 students in each. And uh, if I see like this week, somebody is not attending, not signing up, then I will drop that individual and I may add from some waiting list, okay? So this course is lecture hours, 36 hours. Uh, by the way, lecture, are, this is online course. So you are not like, you are not mandated to attend the lecture like now it is voluntary, but I will do this every day. And I have already recorded lectures of uh, 
the, the all the course section, uh, all the chapters. So I will post that recorded lecture and I will go over the lab section and other material on uh, at one o'clock every day. If you can make it, that's good. If you cannot, it will be recorded and I will post it. Same, exactly the same recording, okay? Uh, start date, end date. This is 108 hours of uh, lecture hours and then, uh, sorry, uh, lab hours and lecture hour is 36. The only thing is in this course, you have not like direct lab, but if you later you will find today when you go through the My Lab Mastering A and P, uh, you have all the material what you used to do in real lab, you have everything there. You have CAD dissection, you have all the models, you have histology slides, you have cadaver dissection, you have models, everything is there. So uh, during the lab time, I will go over them. I will just introduce and so you guys can also go to the same website, same material, and you can go over them, learn. And from them, I am gonna post assignments. So those assignments you have to complete and assignments are point wide. So every assignment you complete, you're gonna get the points for that. And assignment is like, uh, you can complete in several times. Let's see you make first time you try and you get 50%, then you can try second time, third time, and you can get 100% ultimately, okay? This is four unit course. Uh, the, on December 8, 18th, the course will end. And in the course description, this is introduction to gross and microscopic structure of the human body, particularly emphasis on the anatomy and interrelationship between the structure and function of the tissues, organs and organ system. That's why this course includes the structure and anatomical topics within the integumentary, which is skin, skeletal, muscular, nervous, endocrine, which is the endocrine glands, cardiovascular, lymphatic, respiratory, digestive, urinary, and reproductive system, as well as we will go over the disease condition, which is pathology and some age related changes, okay? Uh, my name is Jessa, I'm a medical doctor, but I teach here full time. Uh, here is the email. Uh, if you email me, I will respond to your email within 48 hours, but usually I respond very fast within uh, like 24 hours or six hours. I'm always on. So you, will not, you don't have to wait basically for 48 hours, but within 48 hours, you'll get the response from me, okay? The text is Human Anatomy, sixth edition, and the lab manual is ninth edition. But these two material, textbook and lab manual, you don't have to buy the physical copy because if you go in Canvas and my lab and mastery, and then you purchase, there are three options without uh, the text uh, book or lab manual with lab manual or only digital access. So if you buy online version of that, you will have access to everything. You will have access to e-text. You will have access to laboratory content. Everything will be there and you will have access to all the assignment I post and you get it, okay? So I will suggest you go and sign there. I'm gonna go over that, how you sign. I think I have already sent the course number, so you can uh, do that too. Use that too when you sign in. So here I have that, so I have both text and lab content will be assessed through my lab and mastering A and P when you purchase and sign in, okay? So you can, uh, access through that too. And you can, if you click here, let's see, I click here, you can, it will take you there. Let's say I'm clicking here. See, now it takes you to the uh, sign in page. Some of the students are sending me email that they're not getting. I don't know what to do with them.
just give me two minutes. I'm responding to those students who are, have a hard time. Just a minute, okay? Some of the students cannot get in. This is the technology problem. They are like, it's a BG, so I'm respond to, I'm gonna respond to them. Okay, let me, some of the students cannot get in, so I am sending new invitation to them. Do we ask uh, questions um, at the end? Yes, yes, yes. You can ask in during the lecture too. Okay. Uh, let me respond to this student. I'm sorry guys, some of the students cannot access, so I have to send them invite again. Okay. Okay, I'm done here, so let me go. Something like. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, so 
I will go over this, uh, how you access the course in Canvas. And if you see here under this uh, link, the ISBN for this MyLab and Mastery is 9780135916933. And if you need to go through the, how you sign in, here is the video, YouTube video tutorial too. And I will go here, I will show you guys at the end. So here is course objective. Uh, this course is designed you guys to make uh, competent for the allied health science, nursing, pharmacy, medical school, other paramedics like physio, uh, physical therapy, all allied health science, okay? So the objective of this course is to describe and use a descriptive anatomical terminology. So you're gonna learn like every class you will have at least 50 to 100 new terminology, okay? Then we will talk about and describe the embryology. Embryology is how our organs and as a human being, we develop from the one cell to multiple cells, okay? So that is basic embryology. And then we will talk about uh, the cellular anatomy. So if you understand the cellular structure and organelles inside and their function and structure, as a human body or complex microorganism, they all have similar organization in whole body. So we start from the cell and we go up to the organism, okay? Then we'll go over uh, the identify, compare and contrast the major tissues of the body using histological slide. So we will have a lot of histological slides uh, in uh, uh, that is called PAL, Practice Anatomy Lab 3.0, which is in my mastery and lab. If you go there and play around all the links, you're gonna find there is PAL. And in the PAL, you have all the models. You have cadaver, you have histology slides. Whatever slides you need to study, they all are there. So basically you focus on whatever uh, the assignment I gave and whatever I cover in the lecture. So my recorded lectures have everything there and make the crux of the recorded lecture and start from there in the assignment, okay? Then there is identify, compare and contrast the structure of the structure of the organs and organ system using 3D virtual models, virtual animal and human cadaver dissection. So if you, when we go to uh, Paul, Practice Anatomy Lab 3, you're gonna see there, there is dissection of the, uh, the human cadaver, dissection of cat, uh, dissection of uh, cow organs. So you will see a lot there, uh, dissections, videos, virtual videos, okay? Describe a structure and anatomical change that occur in injury, disease, or aging. So with normal structure is the anatomy, abnormal structure is pathophy, pathology. And then there is change in the structure with age. So what are those changes in the body? We're gonna go over normal structure, change with the age and change with the disease. Okay. okay, so here we have a student learning outcome. This is for us, every semester we put these SLO and we test them, you don't need to worry about them. Here is prerequisite, prerequisite for this course is bio one and bio 15, you have that, that's why you are here. Accommodation is important here. So <clears throat> some of you need like a special accommodation. We, uh, and in that case, if you have any specific physical, psychiatric or learning disabilities and require accommodation, please let me know early in the semester, particularly first two weeks, within two weeks of this semester, okay? So that your learning needs may be appropriately met. Hey guys, some of you, can you please turn off your, so mute your please. So you, when your kids are around, I, it does not make the noise. Okay. When you want to talk, you can, again. 
talk. Okay. So if you need accommodation, then you need to provide documentation to your disability to the Department of uh, Supportive Program and Services, DSPS, which is on our campus. And then you may also contract Department of Student Service here, DSPS. If you if a question, you can contact Todd. Todd Sassano is the director of the department and here is phone number and email, so you can email. Uh, we have uh, the free tutoring in our uh, tutoring section uh, in our student service. So, some of you are kind of right in my screen. You don't see it in your screen, okay? Hey guys, you guys can write on my screen. I see here somebody writing. Okay. So. That was an accident, you, sorry. Okay, no problem. But you guys can, that's what my, um, I thought I, only I can write. Yeah, there's a little option at the bottom. Uh, I don't know how you can change it. Okay. Uh, share computer sound there. Okay, I can disable here. Okay, thank you. Uh, so for free, uh, free tutoring, if you need help, you can contact uh, Kay and Catherine is in a tutoring department, so she will help you. We have to, uh, a tutor there and you can make an appointment uh, earlier and then they can help you, okay? Uh, here is, all the information, you have a link, you can click on this link and all the student service help are there. Grading, important part here, grades are based on percentage of total possible points. So as usual, if you have 90 to 100%, you have A, 80 to 89% B, 70 to 79 is C, 60 to 69 D, and lower than that is F. And grades are here distributed based on this list here. So grades will be based on the following items. We will have exams. We will have both lecture and lab exam. So lecture exam will be five, okay? Five lecture exam. Each exam will be 100 points. That means lecture exam will have 50 questions. Each question will be two points. So total point of one exam will be 100 points. And that's why Five exam, 100 points is 500 points. And then at the same day, you will have from the lab section, you will have lab exams. In the lab exam, you have to recall what you have learned. We will give you, I will give you models, slides, cadaver, everything. And you will be asked the question exactly like you do in the lab, okay? Only thing is it will be virtual, okay? So lab will be also 50 questions, but each question will be only one point um, and you will you will question. have yes go ahead go ahead uh is it timed yes everything is timed yeah but you guys are all uh completely online so you will have like window period of to take the test there will be time like each lecture exam will be one hour lab exam will also be one hour and uh you have to finish during that one hour. If once you uh, access questions, when you try one question, that question will be locked. And then you go to next question, okay? And uh, you can finish in a window of time. Like I will give you time, like from this time to this time, you have to finish. Once you finish your question, your exam will be locked and you cannot access it again, okay? Oh, wait. Um, so basically if we do question one and then answer it, and then like, if we move to question two, we can't go back to question you cannot, one. You cannot go back to one, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many questions are there usually on a test? Uh, in the, let me, let me finish this section and then I will go for question, okay? Okay. Sorry. So lab exam will be five 
and there will be 50 questions. Each question will be one point, so total point will be 50, and five times 50 is 250 points. So all the lecture, one, two, three, four, you will see in schedule. One, two, three, one to five will be 500 points. And lab exam one to five will be 250 points because it is only 50 points, okay? Then there is participation point. Uh, participation point is I will post reading, I will post uh, other, uh, the, some of the quiz if I need, and those will be like 25 points. Other stuff, this is the like, uh, reading and other participation points. I will check how involved you are, how many times you have logged in, how many hours you have logged in, what you have done. Based on that, you will get these 25 points, okay? Then uh, there will be comprehensive final exam, which is from exam, uh, first topic to last chapter. Like from first chapter to last chapter, you will have everything in the final. That is comprehensive, course comprehensive final. And it will have 100 question, everything multiple choice question. Each question will be two points and total points will be 200. So if you add up these all, it will be 1,075 points together. Okay, go ahead. Now you can ask me question regarding the grade. So you said you're gonna check how many hours were logged in. Yeah, like whether you are involved involved in the class or not. Like right. some of the students never ever do things. So basically when you do an assignment, party space and everything well, then you will get points there. Thank you. Uh, another question I had was that, so for the first uh, um, link for the module, it says how to successfully navigate the course. So does it, count as a, a point because yes, I already... Good, good, that's a good question. So what happened last semester? I see like you learn from every semester. Last semester, what happens? Some of the students never go over a schedule or whatever I have posted and they email after email. They just ask question through the email and never go over these material because I have posted a lot of material and they never go. So what happens, you <clears throat> like, when I post a video, watch that video and then just write thank you or whatever you have got there, like one sentence, one summary. And that's why I put point there too. Like that's the grading point. Like if you watch the first video, you will have one point in the course, like out of 1,075 points, you'll get one point. So you just write thank you or whatever you feel like that, whatever you have got from that one. Because there is no question in that section. So just write thank you, that's it? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you get? On the final, it says um, Scantron. Yeah. How is that gonna be graded? Well, this is, uh, it should not be Scantron basically. It is from the, it, it, it is called Scantron because I used to use in face-to-face -face class. It is online 100. Uh, questions, everything will be multiple choice question. You don't have to write a word in final. Okay, I was like, uh, do we turn again and get our answers later? Like, how no, 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 no. I have to, I have to remove this scantron basically. Thank you. I'm gonna make note. Okay. No scantron. Okay, thank you. Any question there? And by the way, in online class, you will know every time in the class where you are and what grade you have. Every time, every moment, you can check your grade. Okay. So those items, sometimes these items can change. And by the way, if I change anything here, that will be in a student's benefit, never against the student. I will not do something that will count against your grade or that will re uh, reduce your percentage. It may increase or it may remain there if I change, but it will not reduce your grade, okay? Quizzes, lecture exams, and lab exams will be multiple choice, true, false, fill-ins, and short answers. But this may also change sometimes. I may, let's see, write the short answer question. Like one quiz, I will say write one 
uh, the long questions answer. But usually that is not the case, okay? You must follow direction or exam for full credit. You will lose points for giving extra answers. So let's see in the lab exam, ask write three function of the epithelial tissue. And if you write five, you will not get full points. You need to write only three, not two, not four, only three, okay? And you don't use abbreviation. Don't use abbreviation like ADH, right? Antidiuretic hormone, not ADH, okay? So how we proctor the exam, this exam, because uh, there will be time period of the exam and uh, exam is proctored through the proctorio.com, okay? So the online exams will be proctored through proctorio.com the Proctorio is an online proctoring tool which offers you flexibility to take your exams as the time and in the location of your choice. But you are required to have a webcam, which can be USB or internal, with a microphone and a strong internet connection. During the course of an exam, Proctorio will record the testing environment. Therefore, you should select private, uh, private space for the exam session where disruption are unlikely and where recording devices can be enabled. I will give you practice quiz without credit at the beginning using Proctorio before the graded exam or quizzes, which will familiarize uh, you with Proctorio. So I will post one of the practice quiz and that will uh, walk you through all the steps of Proctorio. And Proctorio works only with Chrome, okay? I don't know Proctorio works in your cell phone or not. You have to check that. But it works only with Chrome. So make sure you have Chrome, okay? And uh, Proctorio, I have a lot of problem every time. So let me read it and then I will go over it. So instruction for Proctorio use can be found here. So you can, you can click here and you can go over this Proctorio support. This is a, uh, all the section there. If you have any problem, you can chat with them and they will fix your problem, okay? And then uh, PDF is here, all the, from our the Yuba Community College District, Proctorio Help PDF is here. So if you click here, you can see the PDF there too. During the exam, if you don't follow the instruction from the online exam Proctorio, your exam will be flagged, red flagged, and you will get failing grade for the exam. Okay, so let me tell you certain things here. During the exam, when you are taking exam, if you go back, if you do anything, the most important, you turn off your pop-ups or any notification, turn off. If you have notification, pop-ups, anything, that will kick you out of the exam. And once you are kicked out, you cannot get in the exam again. In that case, you have to come to Yuba Community, uh, Woodland Community College, uh, building 600, and then I will give you exam there. Okay, you need to walk, come there with a separate different exam. You have to come there and then you take the exam. So make sure everything is ready and in right place. Okay, uh, if you, so never go back, never uh, turn on, uh, the, the pop-ups or any notification during the exams. Learn about Proctorio before. Make sure everything is ready, your is, internet is good, okay? So that is about the Proctorio. During the Proctorio, Proctorio will take the 3D, 360 degree uh, video of your room, and then it will uh, record your exam session, total every moment. And then if you have like any abnormality, that, that will tell you Proctorio. When you go through the Proctorio, it will tell you everything. And if there is a red flag, I will, I will get the notification from the Proctorio because that's a remote section. So they will send to me and I will send email to you if you have any uh, irregular behavior during the exam. Okay. Do you have any question in the Proctorio? This is the big deal.
No question? Yeah. Okay, I just, go ahead. I just, I just have one question. Um, um, and uh, maybe this may apply to some parents because uh, I'm at home and my kids are also going to be studying at home. Yeah. Obviously, I'll try to make sure that, you know, they understand I'm doing an exam for an hour. They shouldn't interrupt. But in the event, one of them runs to me or something, I just don't want to be a misunderstanding. Like they run to me and say, oh, I'm doing an exam. I mean, what is the criteria? I just want to make sure there's no misunderstanding there. So only thing is, uh, as it says, this is the electronic thing. So it does not understand whether it is accidental or intentional. So once there is anything disruption, it will not uh, make a big difference. But I will suggest, like if let's say there is emergency and kids come inside, I will suggest for the exam, at least that period of time, you be in one room and be you, you be alone in that room so that you have no disturbance. But let's see, worst case scenario sometimes if the kid comes, that will be seen in your video. And if red flag, then I'm gonna go over that and I'm gonna go, they will, they will send me the red flag report from the proctorio. And then I have to go over that and I will see what exactly it is. And then we will manually, we will do that, check it. Okay, yeah, okay. thank you. Okay, thank you. And you also stated that uh, we should turn off our pop-ups. Yes. Okay. Pop-ups and particularly the notification. Okay then. Yeah. Okay. So honesty and a student code of conduct you see here, all those are the standard thing. And this does not apply here. It's online class. So you can go over these. So Basically, if you cheat or plagiarize, uh, plagiarize, you will be given F course grade, have a disciplinary conference with the dean and plan. This is the regular thing. And what are the cheating? Cheating is looking or copying from another uh, person's exam. And by the way, even exam will have different, a student will have different exams this time because uh, online you can give different exam for different students because I have like a bank of questions and I can select randomly for different student, okay? So copying another person's lab report. If there is two IP address at the same location and taking the exam, that I will know that too, because Proctorio report that too, okay? Copying another person's lab report, using information in presentation or report, not citing the source, using any outside, assistance on exam, including the notes or information from other individual, sharing exam questions and answer with other students. So if you have question, you take the test and you share with other, that is also uh, the against the conduct, okay? Uh, no, no makeup or uh, makeups given for exam or lab. So if you miss the exam without notification, then you miss it, you will not. So if you have any emergency case, let me know beforehand and give me the reason, give me the documentation. And in that case, I can manage for you separate. But in the lab or homeworks, you have to finish in on that time. If you need extension, then you will lose points. So for the lab reports, it can be accepted at the maximum of one class meeting late with two point deduction. So if the exam is five points, you will get only three points. Late means the report was not turned by, turned in by the due date uh, set by the, so if I have to extend your date, you're gonna lose points. So finish your assignment before the due dates. Okay, uh, course drop. So let's see today and on Wednesday, basically this weekend, uh, this week I'm gonna check your uh, whether you have logged in, you have on track everything or not. If not, then I will drop those individual students. And uh, I will add from the waiting list, okay? So uh, let's see you are attending the class from today you are participating in everything. And then after two weeks, you stopped coming. 
you stop assessing the website. You are not regular now. Uh, we all, all have some problem, maybe in an emergency or some other condition. In that case, I will not be able to drop you. Okay, so after two weeks, if you don't want to continue this course, you have to drop yourself. If you don't, then your final grade will be F in your transcript. I did, I had like summer, there are two students, I had to give them the F because they enrolled, attended two weeks and then it stopped coming and did not drop. So in that case, you have to drop. So make, uh, make sure if you don't want to continue this course, you have to drop. Uh, there is a strategies for learning. For this course, uh, I think you go every module and assignment, go over it, complete it, and then turn in your assignment. That is the best thing to do it. But to be on top of everything what you learn, what do you do? You review the last lecture and lab. So let's see today's class, I have posted the lecture on an introduction to human anatomy, okay? For the next lecture, we have uh, chapter two, which is the cell, okay, cytology. So what do you do? Review the last lecture. So let's see when you come next time on Wednesday. Wednesday for Wednesday, what do you do? You go over chapter two, uh, sorry, you go over everything on chapter one. Go through the PowerPoints. I will push the PowerPoint. So you have to go through the PowerPoint. Then watch uh, uh, my same lecture from the same PowerPoint. And then you read that book in the e-text or the manual, if you have physical copy. And then do your assignment. And make sure you know, like when you do assignment, most of the students, what they do, they just look into the manual, look into the things and then answer the question. That's okay, but, but for the exam purpose, you have to know them. So basically what do you do? Know them all the material. And if you don't understand, you can join this uh, session and you can ask me question or you can email me uh, if you have any concern and I will respond to your concern, okay? Or you can take the, help of all the resources you have in my lab in mastery, okay? For the upcoming lab, you review the next lecture and lab. So let's see when you go home today after this lecture for the next lecture, what do you do? You just go over the upcoming lecture, just read it fast one time PowerPoint and then go over the lecture. Okay, just read the PowerPoint one time. So when you go through the recorded lecture, it is easy for you to follow what exactly I am describing, okay? So there is two way, review the current lecture and lab and preview the upcoming lecture and lab. That is, and then you repeat this cycle every day. That way completes everything what you have, okay? And that way, by the time exam comes, you will have like four times done with those things and your exam will not be harder, okay? Uh, I have written here, what do you do handling multiple choice questions? Some of the students do very well in multiple choice question and some of the students don't. So I have here information, read this and this will give you help about the multiple choice question. We have a schedule here, okay? So as you know, we have five units. Unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, unit five, and then you have uh, the review for final and final all December 16th, okay? So in each unit, if you go in a schedule, in each unit, you see here, you have lecture exam and you have lab exam. Each day, like August 17th, we have human body and orientation today. And then in the laboratory topic, we have language of anatomy chapter one. But where you find these things, you're gonna find in my lab and mastering A and P. You'll have extra to both of them there, okay? 
So you go over them and then for this section, I will post the, like for unit one, I have posted study guide one, uh, chapter one, first the orientation section, and then chapter one, recorded lecture, chapter one, PowerPoints, chapter one, assignment homework. And if there is other videos or anything related, I will post that too. Okay, so that's how you go. And then during the exam times, I will post, I will email, I will post in the quiz section. In your quiz, you will have your exam there. Okay, that's how this all section goes all the way. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Okay, so for the exams, um, to like pass the exams, do we like, focus on the PowerPoints in your lectures and then use the textbook to understand or do we have to use all three because the exam questions is in all three? No, it, mostly you focus on my recorded lecture and PowerPoint okay. and go over those section also in your e-text or physical text, whatever you have read that only that because if you go in the textbook, let me show you, this is the textbook here. Can you guys see it? Could you move it a little up? Can you see? No? A little higher. Just a little bit. See it. Yeah, put it a little bit higher. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this is the text. And here is lab manual, but you don't need to buy them physical. You have to just go sign in. I think it is $94 and comes everything. So here is the lab manual. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So every day you see here, all the date, what date, what do you have to do? And you don't need to worry about this. Based on these schedule, I'm gonna post everything in your, which I am gonna show you, okay? Here are important dates. Do you have any question here? Um, where exactly do we go and find your um, video lectures? Okay, I will go over this. After this, I'm gonna go over. I will show you, okay? I have a question about the schedule. Go ahead. Do we have scheduled Zoom meetings or is everything just going to be put into Canvas so we can watch it on our own time? That's a good question. This is online class. I will go over the lab content every day, one o'clock. And that will be Zoom meeting. I will invite everybody. Whoever can come, can come because this is online class. So you are not mandated to attend the lecture, synchronous lecture. So you, if you want, you can. In that case, you can ask question, you can interact. If you don't, everything will be recorded and I will post that recording too. So I will post lab recording and I will post lecture recording every day in your assignment and module. And then, so you'll have those posted every day and then also every day at one, there's like for questions? Yeah, you can attend if you okay. want. Yeah. I have a question about our books. If I already buy the books, did you recommend it to be um, registered online or you can keep it, the books too and, you know. Okay, so people. books, uh, I think, I think uh, in the Canvas, there is three options. One option is uh, the My Master Lab with e-text, which mm -hmm. is $94, I think. There is another option where there is um, uh, mastering in my lab without e-text. In that case, if you have physical textbook, uh -huh. in that case, you don't need to buy e-text. You can use physical textbook. Okay, because okay. I don't have those. So for me, it's more easy to, you know, look at in the but, physical books than that. Yes, okay. but no matter what, you have to, whether you have every, like you have lab manual, you have textbook, still you have to buy my lab and mastering because all the assignments oh, the are there. Okay. 
you have to sign in for that. I'm going to go over that. Okay. You have to you have to pay there. You have to sign in, and then you will have access to because there is a lot of material. You're going to see. I will show you how many things, good things, are there. Okay, and it costs ninety four dollars. You say for sign. Yes, ninety four dollar for that most expensive one. There are cheaper version too. I think. Anybody can help with that if you have already signed in. There's a ninety five one, which was the e tax, and the other one is sixty four dollars. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So if you have already textbook, physical textbook, you can buy $64 and that will be fine. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. So here is question. So do you, you said you post every day, like every day of the week? Yes. And okay. by the way, everything will be due by, let's, let's see for this week, everything will be due by coming Sunday midnight, 1159 PM. So for whole week course assignments will be due by the Sunday, by, by upcoming Sunday, 11.59. That is the standard usually. Thank you. Okay. Any more question? I have, okay. a, I have a question. When you do the test, it's gonna be a specific time or you can put a different time because I know some I know it's online and sometimes I work. Yeah, I, I think I explained that earlier. What happens, you will have window period, like from uh, midnight to morning, uh, sorry, uh, from morning to evening. I will give you time, like at least 12 hours of period. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Because this is online class, so it, that will be the case. Okay, here are the important dates when you need all the important dates are here. So let me exit here now and I'm gonna go and show you the course which is important, how you access. Give me a minute so I can, uh, let me go. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to one course and I will show you guys. technical glitch okay here you go so i'm going to share this one can you see my uh dashboard of canvas uh, no, no you're we're still, still in the syllabus Okay, so what about now? Yeah, yeah, you're all good. Okay, so you see here, this is the my course I have posted here. So let's see 916 course I'm gonna click and then I will get into your student mode, okay? So you have to sign in your Canvas and now I can go as an instructor or I can go a student view. I think a student view will be better for you guys. So I'm clicking on this student view. And now I am a student here, see? So when you are 9164 section of the bio four, then you will see this all, you see here? So here you have home page. When you click on home page, you have home here. In the home you see, uh, you have orientation to online. So when you click here, you just control and click here. You're gonna see orientation to online, all the information about the online course. And here is, I have my, this is my welcome letter for you guys. And then uh, how to attend my virtual office hours. So after this lecture one o'clock, if anybody has any question, I will continue and I will 
run my office hours. So you will have any private questions one-on-one. -on -one. I, I, I will make a group, uh, uh, the, the waiting room, and I will take one student at a time and we'll do office hours too if you need any help, okay? So in this section here, not much. Uh, and if you link here, I will send the link through the Zoom for the office hour. If you need, you can request to any time. And then I have a unit here. You see here unit? If you click on any unit, let's see I click on unit one directly. You see it takes you to the, all the section here, any unit. The first thing is, it is one point here. You have orientation, you can click and you can go and you can submit your, so you watch it and then write some summary or write thank you, whatever you want. And then in this case, you will have one points once you do that, okay? So let's go to again, homepage. And that way you can access everything in every unit, okay? So let's go again, unit one. And you can have access to everything. You see here? Any question here? Uh, so is that basically exam one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I have a question uh -huh. on the read chapter two. What is it due June 17th? It says under. No, 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 no. That, that should be changed. Those are the, I have not edited it. It will be edited. Oh, I, I'm not sure if you know this, but then um, we can't access to like our homework until like the uh, midnight of today. No. It is 17, uh, one o'clock, I think. Was it? Oh. No, if you open it, uh, it Okay, I will change, it. I will change. This is, this was made, I think a week ago. Oh, okay. I will change it today after this class. Don't worry, this is easy. I will change immediately. Okay. So you see how you access everything here? Okay. Also, the orientation, when you went to home, the orientation at the beginning, I tried clicking on it um, to watch it, but it wouldn't let me. So I tried highlighting it and pasting it to the top, but I couldn't do that either. It like, it told me that it was not there. When? Uh, today. What time? Uh, if this started at one, then like, a like I, here, I am a student and I can do it. Like go I'm able to, to do it either. Like click uh, on the link for the orientation, like click home. Oh, quick click home. Mm -hmm. Okay. I clicked home. And then that link at the top, I couldn't click on it and I couldn't highlight it to, well, oh, me too. It, but it wouldn't let me watch it. Oh, yeah, I cannot do either. Okay, I will fix it. I think there is some glitch there. I will okay. fix it. Okay. So that's how is the home page. Then next is syllabus here. Syllabus. So here, there is whatever schedule I went over, that is here too, okay? So I just went over whole everything. Here is one PDF and there is another document, the Word file, okay? Then you have module and in module two, you will have the same assignments, everything here. Module one, unit one, midterm one, okay? You can click and you can, Okay, so these are the things here. And if you go to assignment, same thing in the assignment too, you're gonna see. So you can access through the syllabus, you can access the same thing through the module. You can also access same thing, everything from the assignment section too. No matter where you go, if you go there and do it, you can access it. Clear? Any question? Yeah. It's clear. I think uh, what the other student was talking about on this page, when you look um, like the second tile, it says introduction to monster and anatomy and physiology and says not available until August 17, 11, 59. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix. I think there's time. It okay. is, I will change it 11, 59. I will change it 1 a.m. So okay. you will have ex immediate access now. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, so these, and then there is a quiz. There is no quiz, so all the exams will be here too. Your exams will be in module, your exam will be in assignment, your exam will be in quiz too, the same exam, okay? 
Now the most important part, my lab and masting. So once you get into your course here, you have to click to sign in and access. You see here, so if I am a student, I click here and I should say allow pop-up. I have, I am already signed in so I can get into here. Okay, so here my lab in mastery. I will go and I will accept their terms and condition. And then it will ask if you have already Pearson account, then you can create here. If you have new, then you can account here. And then once you sign in here, then they will uh, ask you for the everything price and everything from here you can access. Okay. So I'm going to go back as an instructor and show you what are the materials available in my lab and mastery. Any question before I go back? Okay, so I'm gonna leave the student view and I'm gonna go in instructor view now. My lab in mastery. Open. Pearson. So you see, this is the instructor home and pretty much you have access to every, so here you go. We have Pearson e-text uh, here. So e-text will be available here. You see, view e-text. If I go, I can, and e-text is so good. You have like all the videos are there too. Like in physical book, you. You don't have videos and all that stuff, but here all the dissection videos are there. You see here? So if you click here, you're gonna go to all the chapters. Which chapter you want to go? Let's see if I go to an introduction to human body. Gives everything. Everything comes here. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the e-text back. Now you have a study area. This is the important thing here. Launch the study area. This is new, I have not launched either. Mm -hmm. So you see here, the what chapter you're gonna study, all the chapters are here. Go to home, e-text art labeling, labeling activities, animation videos, lab videos. Look here, there's dissection, bone and dissection, all kind of videos. Look see here, there is one bone video. You can watch it, everything, look here. Can you guys hear the sound or not? I can't hear the sound, but I can see the video. I'm not. Can you see the video? Can you guys see the video or not? I can see the we, video. Can, yes. we can see the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for every chapter, you're gonna see this kind of things. Okay. So, so the My Lab and Mastering, is that the $90 thing you were talking about? Yes, with $95, you will get everything, these all material. Okay. And is that required? I assume so. I think I will not say it is required, but without these things, you will have a hard time getting stuff. Okay. Okay. Okay, so similarly, in study areas, what is going on? study area. Okay, so let's see. Can you guys hear me? Yep, Hello? we can. Yep, oh, we yes. can hear. We can so hear. here is another uh, practice anatomy lab flashcard for your practice before the exam. 
And then here is the most important thing, Paul. Okay, you see here, practice anatomy lab 3.1. So if you click on it, you can go everything, whatever you want here. You see here, we have human cadaver, we have anatomical models, we have histology, we have cat dissection and sheep dissection, organ, fetal peak dissection, everything is here. So let's see. Uh, yeah. One example, I want to go one of the anatomical model of the, let's see, muscular system. And I want to see in the head and neck. So you go to head and neck, and here is the muscle. And this, Paul gives you like pronunciation, writing, everything. So he says, show the labels. It shows all the labels. You see here? You can hide the labels. And then, if you click here, you see here, it says it's sound, you can, it pronounce for you. What is the muscle? Vaccinator, you see? So you can go and practice everything. And then once you are done with the practice, then you can do quiz yourself or you can do lab practical work yourself, okay? That's how you can practice everything, every chapter before the exam here or not before the exam, before your assignment. And then you can answer the question in the assignment and exactly the same question will be in the exam too. Okay? Uh, do we not have to like uh, learn this lab since it's chapter three, it seems? Not now, I'm just giving examples. Uh, whatever okay. I post, that those are important for that chapter. Okay? So that is study area. Percentage dex. I think those are the things you have to go uh, access those all material and study from those sections. Okay. Um, it's. I was logging into my into my lab thing, and it says to enroll in a course. Um, is there? a certain thing that we have to type down so it can like uh, it, it's just telling me to enroll into a course are you not enrolled uh i should be but um it's telling me to enroll to a course and that i need like professor with a number or uh, i have i have sent your course id okay you can enroll with that too do you guys remember i sent you email with the course id Yes. Yeah. yeah, use that. Can you guys, some of you try now so I can see how it works? Two minutes, go over it. And if you have uh, like some problem, you can contact Pearson too, they help. Yeah, mine works. Okay. So I think uh, you will have access. It's not a big deal. Once you pay and we have there, you will, you will have access. I think uh, before you guys have, before I go, do you guys have any questions? This recording, what we have talked, discussed today, I'm gonna to post this to in your canvas, particularly in the module or assignment, the same place. Now, I will be here. So if you have question, you can stay. And if you have personal question, anything you can ask me. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you, guys. Uh, okay, thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Hi, Professor Shaw. Bye bye. I actually had a, a question. Go ahead. Uh, so I am on your wait list currently. I think I'm chair two of 10. How will I know like what day you will be adding people on the wait list? I'm gonna check tomorrow okay. or, uh, and I see how many students are absented and then I will take from the waiting list first. Okay, that'd be perfect. And then, um, we'll, can so you, can, it'll be any time this week. Uh, who is this, this is Rachel? Yeah, Rachel. Hey Rachel, can you email a uh, registrar and ask what is the process to add online class? Yes. I'll go ahead email and, me and Email me and, sorry, email her and CC me too. Okay, perfect. Uh, can I just do that from my regular email just because I know the Canvas one, I'm not in your class yet. So yes. it doesn't- Yeah, you have, you have to do right now with your regular email because you are not, you have no access yet. Okay. Do you think it's a good possibility to get into the class? You are number two? Yes. I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right, I just wanted to make sure with you. Sure. All right, I appreciate that, thank you. No problem. A uh, quick question. Uh-huh. So the lab lectures, so it'll be in my lab, it wouldn't be like you going over lab, right? I will, I will. Okay. Certain, certain lab section, I will go over them. And they will be all in the my lab and mastering there too. Okay, thank you. So all the labs and lectures are going to be in my lab, my master lab, or just the um, labs and then everything, lectures? both. Okay. Yeah, both lecture and lab. So the recording of all the lectures and stuff are going to be on my um, lab and mastering. No, my recordings will be in your canvas. Okay in the, your module and your assignment. Like this recording, what I'm recording right now, this no. will also be posted in your canvas. Oh, okay. So just like the labs and like other PowerPoints and stuff and assignments are gonna be in my lab and mastering, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, for the office hours, you say after the lecture, like at one o'clock, or you're gonna be a little bit flexible because sometimes I started working at two o'clock, is possible. So for that, if you need help, just email me or you need a one-on-one -on -one meeting, then just give me the time. I will invite you that time when I, I will uh, talk to you. So it is not like far hard and fast rule. You can just ask for help anytime. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. If no questions, anybody, then I will end the session. I have one more. Go ahead. So um, on the master in a &P, it says there's no upcoming assignments or no past due assignments for me. Yeah, no, I have to uh, uh, reschedule the, the assignment because they are old dates and I have to change that. So you will see today. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. No problem. Hello? Who is this? Hi, uh, Professor Jeshaw, it's Mohammed. I'm so sorry for calling you. No uh, problem. I 